With Mickey in the public domain, he joins the ranks of other public domain characters. Tarzan, Santa Claus, uh, Jesus, the Easter Bunny, all these characters that anyone can use for any purpose. No one actually owns them. Also, kind of, everyone owns them. Uh, in fact, it's kind of interesting that Disney built their career on using stories from the default domain to make their empire, yet they were the largest pushback against letting ex copyrights expire. Those were thens, these are nows, and the year is 2024, and Mickey Mouse has finally slipped out of their white-gloved grasp. So, let's talk about Mickey Mouse and the public domain. Want to make a Mickey Mouse adult comic? Go right ahead. You won't be the first, but go right ahead. You want to make a Mickey Mouse horror video game with a subtle Nazi undertones? I guess you could do that. I don't know why you would, but you, you could. But there's two things that keep bothering me when people talk about Mickey Mouse. And one is they keep saying that Steamboat Willie was the premiere of Mickey Mouse. And to a certain extent, that's correct in a way, uh, Steamboat Willie uh, came out, um, released on November 18th, 1928. Um, but really, playing crazy, the sh another short film actually came out May 15th as a test screening and March 17th. Technically, the copyright expires the same year for playing crazy as it does for Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie was the widest release. Another misconception I think is very interesting that everyone seems to be getting wrong is the rules of how you design Mickey. Some people are saying you can't have Mickey where he's wearing gloves, like he is in this picture for Steamboat Millie, the advertisement for Steamboat Willie, or like he is here in the plain crazy advertisement wearing gloves and shoes. This is basically modern Mickey other than stylistic changes to the eyes. You can use this version of Mickey because this is from 1928, the exact same year. Okay, so it's a big deal that Mickey is in the public domain because let's be real, there's very few characters that are as worldwide recognizable as Mickey Mouse. I know this could be a lot of cash grabs, a lot of crap, a lot of people making random YouTube videos about whatever it means for Mickey Mouse to be in the public domain. And again, I'm here for it. 